Hi, today we're talking about variables in Articulate Storyline. And in this video, I'll explain what a variable exactly is, which type of Articulate Storyline variables there are, and how you can use them to create great interactive slides in your course. Hey, it's Mark here from Upward Online Learning, where I help you to create interactive e-learning modules in Articulate Storyline yourself. And are you new here? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any of my weekly videos. Are you ready? Let's get started. But before we dive into variables in Articulate Storyline, let me explain what a variable exactly is. You can see a variable as a kind of storage for different types of information. Now that's a bit abstract, so let's make it more simple. Try to imagine a variable as a box where you can store information in. For example, in Storyline I can create a box with the label name. And in this box I can put my name, Mark, as information in it. Now I can ask Storyline to show the contents of the box or ask Storyline, hey Storyline, if the contents of the box is name is Mark, can you do something? So we can ask Storyline to execute uh, different kind of actions on basis on the contents of uh, the variables that we've created. In Storyline you can create three different types of variables in which you can store values. The first type is you, that you can create text variables in Storyline and here you can put in textual information. The second variable type in Storyline are number variables. And in this variable type you can put numbers and with these numbers you can make calculations. And the third type of variable in Storyline is a variable that has a value or true or false. You can see it as on or off. You can imagine a light switch that is on or off. Now, this is enough theory. Let's dive into Storyline, where I show you how you can create variables yourself and how you can use them. To create a variable, go to your triggers panel in Storyline and click on the icon to open the variable window. You can see here that Storyline has two different types of variable categories. You have project variables. These variables are created yourself or be, are created by Storyline. And the second type of categories in Storyline are built-in variables. These variables are pre-built in Storyline that, and you can use it. For instance, uh, for your slide name or for the amount of slides in a scene. Do you want to know more about the built-in variables in Storyline? Then you can watch my video where I explain how they work and how you can use them. I've placed the link to the video here in the card right on the top. And there's also a link to the video in the description of this video below. Now let's create a variable in Storyline. Herefore, click on the green plus sign. Now you, the first thing that you have to do is enter a name for your variable. And make sure this name is descriptive so you know what the variable is used for. And in this example, I will create a variable to store the student's name. So I call this variable student name. The second step is to select which type of variable you want to create. Textual, a number or a true false variable. Now, in this case, it will be a text variable. And the, and the, st the third step that you uh, can do is you can give your variable a default value. This means that you can already put in a value in your, in your box that you just crea created. Uh, now we are gonna create the variable student name here, so I can already enter the name of a student, for example, Mark. Once you have filled in all the fields, click on OK, and you see that the variable that we just created is now among all the other project variables. And in this overview, you see uh, four different columns. The first column is the name of the variable. Then you see the type of the variable. So this is here for the variable that, that we just created text, a default value here, mark. And in the last column, a use count. And um, this number shows how often the variable is used in Articulate Storyline. And if you click on the number, Storyline shows you an overview where the var variable is all used in your project. 
So here, for instance, you can see that this variable is used by slide trigger condition on the slide menu. Now in this overview, you can adjust your variable. Uh, you can adjust the name of the def or the default value of the variable, but you can't uh, adjust the type of the variable. So a text variable remains a text variable and you cannot uh, um, change it in a true or false or a number variable here. Now you know how to create variables in Storyline. Let's look at some, at some examples how to use them in your projects. Let's start with a text variable example. Now I have a start screen here of a course where a user can enter his name in an entry field. Now, when you uh, put an entry field on your on your slide, Storyline automatically create a variable and here it's called text entry. Now, we are gonna rename this variable to a learner name, a variable that we cho choose ourselves. And the variable learner name can now be included in your course so that you can address your student personally. But first, let's uh, um, adjust the name of this uh, text entry. So I click on the blue plus sign. By name, I put in learner name and I click OK, OK, set variable OK. So you see here, set learner name equal to the type value. Now I'll go to the second screen and here I can select this text field. And if I, now on this second stream, I can um, place the variable with uh, a person signs in front and at the end. And now if we uh, preview this uh, um, scene, you will show, show that the uh, learner is uh, addressed personally. So let's pre preview this scene. I put in my name here, click on the next button. And now you see, hi Mark, this is the main menu. So this is a way um, to address a learner personally. Now, the next example will be uh, an example of a number variable. I will now show you a simple example of a number variable. I have a slide here in my uh, course where I have three images of balls and an image of a ball. Now what I've done, I have also created a variable that's named ball count. And when I drag a ball into the ball, the variable ball count is in incremented by one. And this is done with the trigger on the picture of the balls. So you see I selected a, a, one of the balls and this trigger is in blue. And what this, this trigger does is it adjusts the variable ball count and it adds one when an object is dropped on the or in the ball what i've also done is i have i have a text on this slide that says you have a uh, ball count balls in the ball so this means um, that you can see here how many uh, balls you've put in the ball now let's preview this slide so you see that if i drop an image in the ball my uh, variable will uh, jump from uh, 0 to 1 now if I put an other image in the ball it will be 2 3 and I can put a ball out of the ball and in it and it will be 4 so this is a simple uh, um, example of a number variable so you can add a number by executing a trigger for instance if you click a button or drag an item on another on another item in articulate storyline and the last type of variable in an articulate storyline is a true or false variable now this variable can be true or false um, and you can use this example uh, uh, for instance as a uh, chapter check so what you can do on the last slide of your chapter now we pretend this is the last slide of my chapter we can uh, create a trigger that says adjust variable uh, which variable chapter one completed and it I'll set it to true when my timeline starts so now a chapter one completed is true and what I can do I can go to uh, my main menu and here I can use a trigger to ask um, on this item that has uh, two uh, states hey set this item to selected if chapter one completed is equal to true so we create a trigger 
it says change state of item chapter one to select it and I want it to do when the timeline starts and not the timeline from button chapter one from my main menu and now I'll add a condition and I'll do this if my variable chapter one completed is equal to true. So now here you can use a trigger uh, to ask where the variable um, is completed is true and in this case you can show the image of the check mark in your course. Now you know what a variable exactly is and how you can use them to create great interactive slides in your course. And do you want to know how you can build an e-learning step by step? I've created a guide where I explain all the steps that I take to, to build a quality e-learning in less time. To download this guide, go to Airport Online Learning slash free guide or you can find the link to the guide in the description of this video below. Did you like this video? Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any of my weekly videos about creating e-learning in Articulate Storyline. See you soon in one of my videos.